morning all. First of all, thank you, Inno GS, Alkamada, and Ashish Kubre sir, for giving me this opportunity to present the topic of his hysteroscopy, which is very close to my heart. The main advantage of hysteroscopy is the see and trick. It is the procedure by which we can simultaneously do two things, that is the diagnostic as well as therapeutic. It is no more acceptable for a gynecologist to insert a sharp curate into a uterine cavity blindly to discover and remove suspected pathology from the cavity. Its main benefits are direct visualization of any pathology, no X-ray exposure, and insertion under visualization decreases the chances of perforation. The best timing it can be done post menstrual. Office hysteroscopy. Six years back, I posted a one video of operative office hysteroscopy on a doctor's group. They criticized me and advised not to do the heroic work. But later on, Dr. Harish, Dr. Sergio, Ashish Kubra sir and Sushma madam all motivated me and then again I started my journey since last 6 years and now I am doing 90% of the my procedures as an office hysteroscopy in my setup. Why well, office hysteroscopy has become an important tool in the armamentarium of the gynecologist and especially in the evaluation of abnormal uterine bleeding, infertility and in, uh, pregnancy vestige. In IVF, most uh, in almost 99-100% uh, we are doing pre-IVF evaluation with hysteroscopy. Why office? Basically it is a OPD like procedure, just like a IVF. No need to spec no uh, need of speculum, no need of pinaculum, and it is not necessary for operators to wear scrubs, suits, gown, mask, anything. Saline office diagnostic hysteroscopy offers at least all the advantages of the hysteroscopy and gives the possibility to easily find and treat in situ many of the lesions observed. Sterile clothes are mandatory and any instrument inserted into the uterus must be sterile. These are the only two prerequisites. Because of the excellent drainage, the risk for the infection with office hysteroscopy is exceedingly low. When hysteroscopy is routinely performed prior to in utero IVF, a significant percentage of patients have uterine pathology and then it may impair the success of the fertility treatment. So patient tolerance, safety and the feasibility of the simultaneous operative correction make office hysteroscopy an ideal procedure, even cost economic as well. Systemic Hysteroscopy prior to IVF fixing showed to be an effective investigation that would improve the pregnancy rate. Now these are the videos of the office hysteroscopy. This uh, procedure is done with the one point. Uh, this is the office hysteroscopy done with 1.9 millimeter scope. And here we have an advantage that we can have a vaginoscopic picture. We can identify the pathology in the vagina. Now we have just entered the cervix. We can assess the cervical canal. And then cervical canal, the mostly here I am focusing on the anterior cervical tip. This is the anterior cervical tip. What is the significance of this anterior cervical tip? When we perform IUI or embryo transfer, most of the time our catheter is stuck up in this notch. And that's why the knowledge of this anterior cervical tip is very important. If we have already assessed this, then we can plan our IUI or transfer uh, by rotating our cannula 3 to uh, uh, 9 uh, o'clock uh, position. So this is the advantage of the hysteroscopy in such cases. Again, this is the office hysteroscopy with 1.9 millimeter scope. Here, this is the we can uh, you can see the poly. You can just hold the poly in the first step and just pluck it out. So simple, it is a diagnostic plus therapeutic procedure. Even we can deal with the multiple po uh, polyps. In this case, multiple polyps in the uterine cavity. These polyps can be dealt with the scissor and uh, uh, forceps as well. So this is the, again it is done with the 2.9 millimeter scope. 
or in early, uh, earlier we had a 4 mm scope with that it was not possible but with the advancement of technology 2.9 and 1.9 scope of his hysteroscopy is very well possible this procedure is done with the 2.9 mm scope how to, how to identify that 2.9 and 1.9 this uh, uh, you can see the notch at the level of uh, 6 o'clock position so that is the indicator of the uh, 2.9 uh, mm scope and earlier I was using in two cases uh, 1.9 scope so the people who have criticized me they were basically having the lack of knowledge of the hysteroscopy and they were not uh, aware with the advancement of the technology they were in the era of the 4 mm scope they, uh, they forget that the ad technological advancement have uh, uh, allow us to uh, hysteroscope like 2.9, 1.9 and in uh, future we may get uh, smaller than that again this is the pedunculated uh, uh, cervical uh, fibroid the same principle you can just catch hold with the uh, forcep and just uh, pluck it out because these uh, cervical uh, polyps they can hamper the uh, your procedure like IUI and IVF transfer they can cause a trauma bleeding and that is why removal of the such polyps are uh, important so just pluck it out and remove again this is done with uh, 2.9 mm scope then uh, tubal testing mostly we do with uh, either HSG or uh, hysterolaparoscopy but uh, very few people know that even we can do the tubal HSG with uh, uh, tubal patency with uh, hysteroscopy how we can do it with the uh, bubble test see uh, in this case just we are passing the bubble from outlet uh, channel outlet channel I have, I have just put the bubble and bubble easily going through the ostia so that clearly indicate that the tubes are patent and it is uh, less painful than HSG and uh, it is uh, it has uh, have all uh, benefits this is done with uh, 2.9 mm scope here also you can see again series of bubbles passing through the ostia so with this we can do the tubal patency even coronal catheterization also we can do we can put the coronal catheter into the corno and then we can push the air bubbles and uh, we can watch through the transparent uh, lumen of the uh, coronal catheter so even coronal catheterization can be done with the office hysteroscopy so mostly we can avoid the histo uh, basically laparoscopy so that is the advantage of uh, one more advantage of uh, office hysteroscopy in gynecology it, uh, it has also a very good role uh, this patient is uh, 65 years old this uh, procedure was done uh, 6 years back Again with a 2.9 mm scope, patient presented with the postmenopausal bleeding. So I performed a hysteroscopy and I found that there is a polyp and uh, I have removed the polyp and sent for histopathology. Unfortunately, it was of course in a loop wise also it looks like a benign pathology. So histopathology was also of a benign pathology and treatment was over. Now since six years patient doesn't have any problem and that is the way we have avoided the hysterectomy for uh, such type of uh, patients so this is the advantage in uh, many cases again this case has an osteal me membrane and that was the cause of uh, infertility so I have just uh, dilated the Ostia with the Caesar and uh, afterwards uh, this patient uh, conceived uh, spontaneously. So this is the way to dilate. Uh, the only thing that we have to be very careful that uh, your movement of the hysteroscopy it should be very gentle. Two three things we have to be careful. Number one, pressure of your uh, saline pressure. Number two, your movement. And number three, your instrumental movement inside the cavity that you should not uh, cut uh, myometrium because it gives uh, pain to the patient. And once pain starts, then uh, it is uh, difficult to because that uh, cycle starts off uh, in, and patient doesn't cooperate uh, afterwards. Septum also we can do with the office hysteroscopy. <laughs> this is the septum of the patient or the infertile patient. Uh, here the only thing is that we have to cut uh, bit by bit, very small bites because 
if you cut uh, more bunch of uh, myometrial tissue, mostly septum uh, contains maximum uh, fibrotic fibers. But uh, sometimes it is uh, contains the myometrial fiber as well. So if you cut more or uh, myometrium, then it gives pain and patient will not cooperate. So you have to be very gentle, slowly you can uh, cut the septum and definitely even this uh, thick septum we can uh, cut out with the hysteroscopic scissor and uh, with this office hysteroscopy. Uh, some people say uh, with office hysteroscopy, have you given the analgesic, uh, tablet, injectable form of sedation? No. These all scopies are done without sedation, without any analgesia, no pills, no analgesic pills, nothing, nothing, nothing. Just like I want. Simple. This patient previously had a, a septum and uh, she was operated uh, by the septoscope and when she come to me, I performed a reload uh, hysteroscopy because of office hysteroscopy, you have always, uh, always you can have a reload uh, hysteroscopy. And here I have find a uh, adhesion at internal cost level. I am very gentle, slow, because under anesthesia your movements will be faster. But in office hysteroscopy, you have to be very slow, gentle. See here, I am just uh, uh, gradually going inside, cutting uh, small, small pieces of uh, fibrosis and then entering into the cavity, again there is the fibrosis, so again I have cut the fibro <coughs> this, uh, fibrotic tissues. Again uh, in cavity also there is the irregularity of uh, cavity, so I have corrected uh, that also, so that was the anatomical corrections by cold like uh, Caesar. We should not use repeated energy, energy we should use only when, when there is a uh, thick septum. Mostly in infertility cases, we try to avoid energy. So in such kind of septum or adages, we can use just a scissor. So with scissor, we can correct the anatomy of the cavity. And uh, this patient uh, later on conceived uh, spontaneously. So simple hysteroscopically correction can give the uh, result uh, equally uh, good results. So again, uh, cutting in uh, small bites. And your movements uh, should not be uh, fast because if you do a lateral, more lateral movements, that will give pain to the patient. Again, we have a benefit in a this patient uh, uh, presented for removal of the property, but on per speculum uh, there was no threat, so immediately I took her to. Uh, hysteroscopy uh, and uh, I can uh, find the uh, uh, property inside the cavity and uh, you see whether it is not impacted in the myometrium so I visualized all the uh, property uh, there you can see the micropolyps that is basically uh, micropolyps uh, causes uh, endometritis and uh, that is also uh, good for uh, contraceptives uh, when we put the property so afterwards I remove this property so again this is the one more advantage that uh, immediately you can take to the office hysteroscopy. Now, uh, this is the case, uh, guess, uh, in sonography, this patient uh, wandering here and there for almost for 15 years and a uh, lot of uh, people, some, uh, some are thinking that it is calcified liver, it is tubercular, AKT, this, that, that she has uh, received lot of uh, treatment since 1999 to, uh, till 2015, she was taking uh, all the treatment but uh, no one has done the transvaginal sonography and hysteroscopy. So here hysteroscopy, you can get the answer, what was it? So this is the answer. This is the basically no calcifications, no tuberculosis. It is a foreign body uh, inserted by crack in 1999 and it was there in the cavity till 2015. So again that is the advantage of office hysteroscopy, immediately you can uh, identify uh, such pathologies. So this is all about the uh, office hysteroscopy. The only uh, we have to be careful uh, for the pressure and uh, pain and uh, last thing uh, vasovagal, uh, uh, vasovagal uh, thing. But if you prevention is better than cure in vasovagal. So what is the prevention? If you find some bradycardia, 
just stop the pressure there and there only number one number two again if uh, her uh, technique uh, her uh, pulse rate uh, not uh, uh, improved then you can take out the scope any time or uh, you can ask the patient to cough if she cuffs, then your 99% uh, problem of vessel value will be over. And if at all something happens, then definitely hydrocan and all these things we can give. Until now, I have uh, performed lot of office hysteroscopies, but uh, no patient has undergone the uh, we require uh, any atropine or uh, any uh, <coughs> medications for that. Simple, the one, two, three manure and was uh, suffice to recover the vessel So that is the only thing that we are uh, all uh, afraid of. So I will advise my all colleagues because uh, all doing our DNC, most of us are doing hysteroscopies, but very few do, uh, few are doing office hysteroscopy. So I will recommend everyone to we can start uh, office hysteroscopy. It is like uh, just uh, transvaginal uh, hysteroscopy for us. Thank you.